Hey guys, it's Marley Scott here once again for Make It or Bake It, and uh, I'm really excited because I am gearing up for Watkins Glen Sprint Cup Weekend, August 10th. I'm going there, I'm playing a show, and what I'm most excited about, but don't tell anybody this, is maybe perhaps meeting my future ex-husband, because I've heard that race car drivers are hot. All right, let's rev this party up by getting started with my beverage I'm making. It's called a Zumba Ya. I named it myself because you never know when someone's gonna Zumba Ya. Get it? Zumba Ya? At the races? Okay, remember guys, here's a tip. Pace yourselves because if you have too many of these, you're gonna miss the races. Okay, we're gonna start with four parts pomegranate vodka and you're gonna add it to a nice cold shaker filled with ice. Then you're gonna add three parts triple sec. You could also use Cointreau if you wanted to, just you need an orange liqueur. And then you're gonna add cranberry pomegranate juice. You could use whatever kind of juice you want. I personally like cranberry pomegranate or blueberry pomegranate, something pomegranate-y because I love those things. And then finish it off with one part lime juice. You could use fresh squeezed or bottled. This drink serves four small or two really big. I like the big ones. Okay, so I would never ever recommend getting in a race car after drinking that potent concoction until at least you've had a snack because drinking and driving is seriously, it's really bad. So don't do it, please. I'm serious right now. Anyways, so we're gonna start with our snack. It's a Mexican taco dip. It's got some cheese, it's got some peppers, it's got some onions. It's really, really good, especially with Tostitos. Hint of lime chips. To start the dip off, you're going to mix half a cup of Miracle Whip to eight ounces of cream cheese. You can use light cream cheese, whatever kind of cream cheese you like. You're gonna mix those up, but you're gonna wanna make sure they're at room temperature so they're gonna mix really well together and not be all chunky. You're gonna put those in the fridge and let them sit for about four hours, then take it out and spread it onto a platter. After that, you're gonna add salsa. I prefer the Tostitos brand salsa. I like the mild down here in the south. I find that the mild is much easier to eat. Then on top of that, you're going to add finely chopped peppers. I like to use yellow and orange because it's really pretty and colorful, but you can use whatever you want. Green, red, whatever works for you. Then on top of that, you're gonna add green onions. Then on top of that, you're going to add your cheese. Cheese is one of my favorite things in the world. It's so good. And you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Same thing, mozzarella, cheddar, you can use a mixture, whatever you prefer. And then of course, to finish it off, you're gonna put some sliced tomatoes. You can use whatever kind of tomatoes you want. I use grape tomatoes. And then for an extra special something, some avocado. Avocado not only has some food value, it has some very healthy fats, but it's also good for your face. Use half the avocado for your dip and put the other on your face. This is sure to snag me, my future ex-husband. Mmm, so good. Even though I will most likely be remembered for my lovely concoction of my Zumba Ya drink, or perhaps my Mexican taco dip with the hint of lime Tostito chips, deep down in my heart, I really would like to be remembered for a new way to start the races. So rev up your engines, boys and girls. Let the races begin. Woo! 